Veronica Dola Horsford, née Bascom, of Retreat St. David, passed away on Tuesday, 8th March 2022, at the age of 94. She was the mother of Yvette Lowe, Gregory Bascom, Bernadette Fall, Richard Horsford, Marcia Hazard, Matthew and Sharon Horsford, stepmother of Martin Lumpress, grandmother of Nigel, Neil and Neela Duncan, Rodlin Lowe, Winston and Randy Bascom, Sophia Charles, Michelle, Rachel and Marcel Horsford, Marcel Hazard, and Quinton, great-grandmother of 25. Many nieces and nephews, including Daphne Bascom, Eric Bascom, Teresa Edwards, Gloria Mitchell, Philip George, and Leon Mitchell. Mother-in-law of Claudia Bascom, Janice, and Belinda. Sister-in-law of Lawrence Francis, Clarice Charles, Gwen, Tony, and Joan Murray. Other relatives and friends, including Raleigh Jessamy, Dandley Bascom, the Bascom family of Felix Park, Happy Hill, and River Road, the Latouche, Horsford, and Felix families, and neighbors and friends of Retreat, Palm Rose, Felix Park, and de Blando. The funeral of the late Veronica Dola Horsford, née Bascom, of Retreat St. David, will take place on Monday, April 4th at 2 p.m. Funeral service will be held at the St. Martin de Porres Roman Catholic Church, Croshu St. Andrew, and interment will be at the Churchyard Cemetery. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Homes. Ian Redhead, also known as Flyers, of Hillsborough Street, who resided at Melville Street and Archibald Avenue, St. George's, son of the late Betha and Pat Redhead, passed away on Friday, 11th March 2022, at the age of 63. He was well known as the founder and editor of Tackle Sports magazine. He is survived by his devoted wife, Deborah. Children Ian Dikoto, Zaya Bourne, Ada Inka, and Oksana Redhead. Proud grandfather of Ziana, Zuri, and Zacharias. Daughter-in-law, Rocio Mota Dikoto. Dearly missed by his siblings Rosamond, residing in England and Nigeria. Annette and Patty, residing in Grenada. Margaret, also known as Git. The late Adrian, also known as Pencil. Gordon, also known as Police and John, also known as Pussy, residing in the United States, and Trevor, also known as Bessie, residing in Canada. He will be lovingly remembered by his mother-in-law, Yvonne Alexander, father-in-law, Lloyd Alexander, many nieces, nephews, sisters-in-law, and brothers-in-law, other relatives including the Charles, Hopkin, and Marichou families, close friend of Sammy Braffitt and family, and Raphael Arthur in the United States, Ruggles and Tammy Ferguson, Nazem Burke, Merle and Jeffrey Bayer, Randolph Peters and family, Nurse Cloudon and family, Clem John, Margaret Matushek, Noel Thomas in Canada, and other loved ones. The funeral service for the late Ian Redhead, also known as Flyers of Hillsborough Street, who resided at Melville Street and Archibald Avenue, St. George's, will take place on Wednesday, April 6th at 1 p.m. Funeral service will be held at the Cathedral of the Immaculate Conception, St. George's, and interment will be at the Top Cemetery. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Bailey's Funeral Home. Velma Ada Murray of Monterey St. Patrick, who resided at Grenville Street, St. George, passed away on Friday, 4th March, at the age of 71. She was the mother of Joyce Murray Allen, also known as Verna in the USA. Jerry Murray, Nigel Murray, and Louise Murray, grandmother of Brandon Murray, Kenny Allen, and Kai Murray in the USA, Daniel Patris, Shimron Millet, Shanika Regis, and Lamon Murray, sister of Patricia Belgrave, Stafford Murray, Michael Murray, Glenna Evans in Trinidad, Yoland Ledlow, Terence Ruby, and Ricky Murray, mother in law of Isona Regis and Rodnisha Joseph Murray, aunt of 23 including Paul Belgrave, Josanne Murray, Rhea Murray, Nola Murray, Shannon and Shakima Ledlow, Nadine Paul and Jarrell Murray, grand aunt of 43, niece of Priscilla Smart, Osbert Charles and Patlin, sister-in-law of Bobby Lynn Murray, Joseph Ledlow, Yvonne Murray, Anthony Evans, numerous cousins, other relatives and friends including Merlin David in the USA, Edward and Meryl Lord, 
Mr. and Mrs. Allen in the USA, the Smart, Julian, Murray and Mongo families, Cindy Philip, Pansy Barito, Maggie Pearl, Daphne, Anne Merriman, Peggy, Juliet Dakota, staff of GCNA, friends and neighbors of Montrich St. Patrick and Grenville Street St. George. The funeral service of the late Velma Ada Murray of Montrich St. Patrick, who resided at Grenville Street St. George, will take place on Thursday, 7th April at 1 p.m. Funeral service will be held at the Seventh-day Adventist Church, Ashibald Avenue, St. George's, and entombment will be at the St. George's Center Cemetery. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lockwa Brothers Funeral Home. Sebastian Francis Richardson, also known as Sebo, of Tivoli St. Andrew, a well-known farmer, passed away on Monday, 14th March 2022, at the age of 62. He was the father of five, Kester, Tessa in Canada, Alona residing in Trinidad, Jamal and Shebi. Six brothers including Augustine residing in the USA and Lawson residing in Canada. Five sisters including Ennis, Jocelyn residing in the USA and Teresa residing in Canada. Grandfather of six, Norrell, Jonathan, Carlton, Janaya, Shiloh and Kimora. Great-grandfather of two, son-in-law of John, uncle of many including Reginald and Evans residing in the United Kingdom, Perlin, Alwyn, Kendall and Linthia residing in the USA, Claudette residing in Canada, Garvin, Kelly, Enzo, Agnes, Jerry, Royan, Patricia, Rasta Sweet, Lean Wall and Kelson. Other relatives and friends including the Richardson family of Monk Rich, the Mann family of Chantimel, and close friends of Tivoli, La Poetry, and surrounding areas. The funeral of the late Sebastian Francis Richardson, also known as Sebo of Tivoli St. Andrew, will take place on Thursday, April 7th at 2 p.m. Funeral service will be held at the Tivoli Roman Catholic Church, and interment will be at the Tivoli Cemetery. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Bailey's Funeral Home. George Ferguson, also known as Kester and Reed, of Chantimel St. Patrick, former principal of the Chantimel RC School, passed away on Sunday, March 13, 2022, at the age of 73. He is survived by his children, Kells and Jenna Ferguson in Grenada, and Desna Ferguson in the USA, adopted daughter Hazelan, close and dear friend Eva Logie, Grandchildren Omari and Yuri Ferguson in Grenada and Shia Ferguson in the USA. Brothers Andrew and Adrian Frame, Norman and Charles Ferguson in Grenada, Desmond in the USA and Bruce Ferguson in Scotland. Sisters Christine Mukram in Grenada and Jocelyn in Trinidad. Nieces and nephews Neil Ferguson, Barney, Avina, Sean, Charlene, Tamara, Tamar, Rondell, Vandel, Akeem, Corporal Nigel Hutchinson, Chanel and Raisha. Other relatives and friends including Jim Alexander, Dr. Kellen Belfon, Ricky Barry, Terran Philip in England, Marcus and Clinton Bailey, The Frame, Batiste, Logie and Ferguson families, the Dupre family of Guove, past teachers and students of the Chantimel RC School and Grand Roy Government School, and friends of Chantimel, Satez, and surrounding areas. The funeral of the late George Ferguson, also known as Kester and Reed, of Chantimel St. Patrick, will take place on Thursday, April 7th at 1 p.m. Funeral service will be held at the St. Patrick RC Church and interment will be at the Marley Cemetery. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Bailey's Funeral Home. Bertrand Joseph Primus of Top Hill Carry AQ passed away on Thursday, 17th March 2022, at the age of 73. He was the father of Mary McFarlane, also known as Annie, Carlson and Treason Primus, grandfather of Alicia, Alston and Vadia Edwards and Alison Primus, great-grandfather of Antoine, Igerson and A.J. Edwards, brother of Dorothy Marsh, father-in-law of Alfred McFarlane and Melita Wilson Primus, uncle of many in England, Grenada and Cariacu, close friend of many in England, Grenada and Cariacu, 
close relatives and friends, the Primus, Edwards and Duncan families, Margaret, Steve and Michael, Margaret de Bellet and family, Lorna Monkrose and family, neighbours of Tophill and Monkroyal Carrier and surrounding areas too numerous to mention. The funeral of the late Bertrand Joseph Primus of Tophill Carrier will take place on Friday, April 8th at 2pm and interment will be at the Brunswick Cemetery. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Homes. Lucy Smith, also known as Mildred Smith of Boca St. George, passed away on Thursday, 24th March 2022, at the age of 77. The funeral arrangements for the late Lucy Smith, also known as Mildred Smith of Boca St. George, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Homes. Raymond Toussaint, also known as Tuss of Pearl St. Andrew, who resided in Westerhall St. David, passed away on Monday, 28 March, at the age of 58. The funeral arrangement for the late Raymond Toussaint, also known as Tuss of Pearl St. Andrew, who resided in Westerhall St. David, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements have been entrusted to Bailey's Funeral Home. Ambrose Emmanuel Sylvester, also known as Bully, of Molinaire St. George, passed away on Wednesday, 23rd March 2022, at the age of 96. The funeral arrangements for the late Ambrose Emmanuel Sylvester, also known as Bully, of Molinaire St. George, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Home. Lucel Maxime, also known as Alcina Chase, of Grand Aunt St. George, died on Wednesday, 23rd March 2022, at the age of 82. The funeral arrangements for the late Lucille Maxime, also known as Alcina Chase, of Grand Aunt St. George, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Bailey's Funeral Home. Carly James, also known as Black Boy and Baggy, of Bolio St. George, died on Tuesday, 22nd March 2022, at the age of 69. The funeral arrangements for the late Carly James, also known as Black Boy and Baggy, of Bolio St. George, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Bailey's funeral home. Daphne Joseph, also known as Datty of Latant St. David, passed away on Wednesday, 16th March 2022, at the age of 87. The funeral arrangements for the late Daphne Joseph, also known as Datty of Latant St. David, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Homes. Leonard Abraham McMillan, also known as Leonard Glad, and Tawe of Bellevue St. David passed away on Saturday 19th March 2022 at the age of 68. The funeral arrangements for the late Leonard Abraham McMillan, also known as Leonard Glad, and Tawe of Bellevue St. David will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Homes. Edward Mordred Roberts, also known as E.M. Roberts of Belmont St. George, died on Saturday 19th March 2022 at the age of 86. The funeral arrangements for the late Edward Mordred Roberts, also known as E.M. Roberts of Belmont St. George, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Bailey's Funeral Home. Teresa Cummings, also known as Carmen, of Beaulieu St. George, passed away on Saturday 19th March 2022, at the age of 81. The funeral arrangements for the late Teresa Cummings, also known as Carmen, of Beaulieu St. George, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Homes. Paul Joseph, also known as Preacher, of Cemetery Hill St. George's, passed away on Thursday, 17th March 2022, at the age of 73. The funeral arrangements for the late Paul Joseph, also known as Preacher, 
of Cemetery Hill St. George's will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Homes. Agnes Barry, also known as Loyola, of La Fortune St. Patrick, who resided in the USA, passed away on Saturday, 12th March 2022 in Canada, at the age of 77. The funeral arrangements for the late Agnes Barry, also known as Loyola, of La Fortune St. Patrick, who resided in the USA, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Homes. Anita Blackett, also known as Mama Anita, of Padmatar St. David, passed away in Trinidad at the age of 89. The funeral arrangements for the late Anita Blackett, also known as Mama Anita of Padmatar St. David, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Homes. Sybil Matilda Roberts, also known as Mama and Pity, of New Hampshire St. George, passed away on Sunday 13th March 2022 at the age of 81. The funeral arrangements for the late Sybil Matilda Roberts, also known as Mama and Pity, of New Hampshire St. George, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Bailey's Funeral Home. Teresa Smith, also known as Farm O, of Carrier, who resided at Telescope St. Andrew, passed away on Thursday, 17th March, 2022, at the age of 84. The funeral arrangements for the late Teresa Smith, also known as Farm O, of Carrier, who resided at Telescope St. Andrew, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Homes. Monica Cynthia Knight Martin, affectionately known as Monix, of Mount Mort St. George, passed away on Sunday 6th March 2022, at the age of 87. The funeral arrangements for the late Monica Cynthia Knight Martin, affectionately known as Monix of Montmorit St. George, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Homes. Joseph Peterson of Chantemel St. Patrick, who resided in the United Kingdom, passed away on Friday, 25th February in the UK at the age of 87. The funeral arrangement of the late Joseph Peterson of Chantemel St. Patrick, who resided in the United Kingdom, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements have been entrusted to Lockwa Brothers Funeral Home. In memory of Chad Joseph Edgel of Grand Mall St. George, who resided in New York, and passed away on March 29, 2012, at the age of 24. He was laid to rest on April 12, 2012. Left to cherish his memory are his mom, Myrna Anne Marie Joseph, grandmother Jillian Catherine Joseph, many aunts and uncles including Tessa Edgehill Gittens, Rachel and Bernadette Joseph, and numerous other family members and friends. Don't think of him as gone away. His journey's just begun. Life holds so many facets. This earth is only one. Just think of him as resting from the sorrows and the tears in a place of warmth and comfort where there are no days and years. Think how we must be wishing that we could know today how nothing but our sadness can really pass away. And think of him as living in the hearts of those he touched. For nothing loved is ever lost, and he was loved so much. Funeral arrangements were entrusted to Bailey's funeral home. In love and memory of Peter Alexander, also known as Sir Pete of Birch Grove St. Andrew, who departed this life on 31st March 2020 at the age of 85, remembered daily by his children, Adolphus Daniel, Anselm, Alina, and Anita, grandchildren Andia, Andre, Antoine, Tony, Tyrone, Michali, Jakia, Jabari, Lyndon, Laurie, and Lavon. Family and friends, we knew so little that morning that God will call your name. In life, we loved you daily, 
In death, we do the same. It broke our hearts to lose you. You did not go alone. For a part of us went with you the day God called you home. You left us beautiful memories. Your love is still our guide. And though we cannot see you, you are always by our side. Our family chain is broken and nothing seems the same. But as God calls us one by one, the chain will link again. Rest in peace. The management and staff of MTV extend deepest condolences to those of you whose loved ones have passed on. Thanks for watching. I am Godwill James, an MD and a member of Gateway Assembly. Medically, death is regarded as an end or a cessation of life. Different, um, different groups view death in different perspectives, while some regard death as a continuation of life, others view it as an infable form of life. As a Christian, we may want to view death as a separation of the soul from the body. So, whichever way one may, view, one may view death, I want to say that may the gentle soul of the faithful departed rest in the bosom of the Lord. Amen.